Hello guys and welcome to another track guide video. Today we're at Dragon Trail Seaside in Group 4. For this track guide video I've decided to go with the Citroen. It might be one of the most underrated cars in the game but it's fairly quick in Group 4 so I just decided to take it and just yeah did 44. I actually did a sub 44, 43 9 with this car which we'll, you will see in a minute. So without further ado guys let's get going. And now starting our lap and make sure that you short shift this car at about I would say 80-85% of total reps. So our first breaking point is this patch on the right. I think it's a quite a mark which you can see on the right just when you pass the 150 meter sign and you start to steer into the corner while trail braking when reaching somewhere around 50. I would say maybe a little bit before 50 get to the inside of that curb and early on the power just a quick uh, I just released the throttle there for a brief second and then went back on it. So make sure that you catch the inside of those curbs to get a bit more rotation than you usually would. So cutting this one as much as you possibly can and waiting until you get to this patch. So um, right about I would say maybe 20-30 meters before that break in the straight line and make car, make car to go just in second to get the rotation and quickly on the power so back in third gear as you can see on the screen and I got a bit more rotation and bit more speed out of that turn so I can carry it on to this next section so this one I'm using I'm actually using this kind of a fence on the left and you just need to be trail braking I would say maybe 20% of the throttle uh, sorry of the brake and then back on the power so if you overdo the brake in there you will probably stop the car too much and you will not be able to carry enough speed onto this long straight that is coming after the SSO we need to yeah we need to carry a lot of speed just to get uh, the best possible lap time and now I'm looking at the 150 meter sign and breaking somewhere in the middle of 150 and 100 there's no clear references here so just as soon as you pass the 150 start to break 50 meter sign is again a reference for turning in the corner and downshifting in the second well trail breaking just a little and back in the third gear so I trail braked quite a, I didn't really trail brake that much so I, I, because I didn't want to stop the car and again upshift in the third was quite useful for the car to get even more stability and again as soon as you touch this curb start to steer into the corner and do this chicane I think it's safe to say you can be quite quite good with this car so it's quite stable it has ability to turn really well and I think this is one of the easiest cars to get through the dead chicane and again our last breaking point is the 100 meter sign I like to break at 110 to 120 just before it breaking the straight line start to steer into the corner and then just a little bit of trail breaking and as soon as you touch this curb third gear and quick up shift in the fourth as you can see here get the most out of the track and we're gonna cross the finishing line in 143.9 I think this is quite a good lap I think there is a lot more time to be gained than this one this is probably got, gonna drop down to even 140 I would say 143.2 or even break down in 142s but this will probably uh, happen at the end of the week yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this one and please make sure that you smash that like button and check out my coaching plans down below which can be found on the site guys thank you again and catch you next time bye